Hey everybody, this is Ryan. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Terraria Expert Mode. Kill bosses in videos. Me kill the mechanical bosses. Greatest title ever for a video. Okay, so um, I'm going to be killing the Destroyer today. And um, I don't think it's going to be that hard. I have so much confidence after killing the twins the way I did. I'm gonna go with uh, with kind of my standard stuff. I did make a magical heart, but I'm not going to use it. Um, instead, I will be using my my Bugnax. Yeah, say it wrong. <laughs> um, and a um, couple of other things. I'm gonna use a, a wrath potion, endurance potion, um, potions that make me stronger and better. I will also be using this uh, this wheel right here, which increases uh, armor penetration. I don't know if it just like gives armor penetration or increases it. I don't quite know how that works. It's not a stat that uh, yeah, I'm all too familiar with in this game. But uh, so I will be using that, and I think it's going to be easy. I think I'm going to destroy him. But um, a little bit of time until it turns uh, till it turns night, and so I am going to combine some stuff. Mainly, I am going to make the fish finder. That is right, I now have all three items from the fisherman. You get them all from fishing, they're all random chances. I finally have it. Oh my god, it took me so long to get this. Maybe I should put my helmet on. There we go. So I finally have it. Make the fish finder. This allows me to make the PDA um, amazing. Amazing, it clears up some inventory space. I finally have that. And then of course, I think it's really interesting that like you have to combine this with a magic mirror. Like you wouldn't have a magic mirror. Like what other than I guess it, it it cleans up your inventory. I guess that's 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 the purpose. Never mind. I'm stupid. I'm asking questions for no reason. It cleans up your inventory. Boom. I now have the cell phone. So uh it it Basically makes a bunch of stuff over here, which you can customize what you show what it shows and what it doesn't show If you just uh, come in here and you can say show me that or don't show me that and uh, yeah, that's all you do Pretty cool. I'm very happy with it. Uh, I, I think it's a pretty neat thing. So Yeah, there it is. That's the stuff. I wanted to show. I really don't care about the fishing stuff I don't really have any other needs to fish other than the the steam achievement not that I can think of anyway, but whatever. And so now I have to wait for it to turn to nighttime. All right, so it is almost time to fight and I wanted to uh, show off how much DPS I would be doing. So I am taking a Rage, Endurance, Swiftness, Iron Skin, and Wrath. Only two of these actually increase my damage. But uh, let's take a look here. I am doing about 24, 2,400 damage per second, and now we're going to go fight the destroyer who has lots of hit points. Oh my god, he has so many hit points. Alright, here we go. Son of a friendship! Ooh, a zephyr fish! I don't have a pet yet! I have a pet now! Oh, little fish, we are going to be best friends. Best friends. Forever. Little fish, I applaud you for turning on your evil fish brethren and joining the good side. You can tell me all of the dirty fish secrets, all of their plans to take over the world. You've done a great thing today, little fish. A great thing. All right, so I now have a fish pet that is no longer here, but I also got this gun while I was fishing. And I gotta say, it's super lame. 
Eh, 200 damage per second isn't awful. It doesn't use mana. And I believe it poisons people. Yeah, it spits toxic bubbles. Um... Yeah, that's kind of lame, though. Shoot poison bubbles out. Hello. Hello, little rabbit. I have... I have a new, a new fish gun. Would you like to see it? Just, just one little... Boop! FIFTY BUNNIES! <laughs> and with one little boop, we have another banner. You can go right next to the goldfish banner. You guys look so good next to each other. You guys look great. Woo! Look at me go! Look at me riding that turtle! Look at me riding that turtle! Boom. Money. Amazing. End of Terraria. I have accomplished all of my Terraria goals. I am riding a turtle. Why can't you be as fast as the damn Ninja Turtles in the jungle? Seriously. This is ridiculous. Turtle, go get that duck! Okay. <laughs> Seriously, the other turtles can jump halfway across the map, and this turtle can't clear a four block wide hole. That's about right. Alright, so, um, oh, I wanna kill these birds, I wanna kill the birds! Um, almost time to go fight the destroyer, and, uh, what I'm gonna be taking is a life force potion that actually give me another 100 health, gives you plus 20% health, uh, so, you know, 500 health, 20% of that's another 100, so that'll give me up to 600. And I am going to be going melee. The reason I'm going with the life force potion is because I'm going melee. And I feel like the 100 uh, health could kind of turn the tide. I mean, if, if, the, if the destroyer's head hits you, it takes off like half your health. It takes like 250 health off. So, yeah. When you're going melee and you got to stand right next to him, especially with this weapon. You got to get so close with this weapon if you want the full effect to get going. I don't know, he does so much damage if he touches you. Ah, I don't want to die. Don't want to die. I'm so confident after killing those damn twins, I feel like I can do anything. And um, I probably can't. Alright, and it is time to fight the destroyer. Um, wish me luck. So I feel like I'm gonna need it. <laughs> oh man, but I have crazy on fire accordion wings. I cannot go wrong. Don't you screw this up for me, slime. Oh my god! So in an act of desperation, um, I am going to change the resolution so I can see him coming from further off screen. I forgot to do that last time too. So now I can see him coming from further off screen and hopefully be able to get out of the way. Oh God! Oh no! Come on! Yeah, I was just going for it at the end there. Just, just all in. Not enough.
Oh my god, I can't believe I finally killed him. I can't believe I finally done it! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I died a couple of times. A couple of dozen times. Wow. Okay, so things I learned from that fight. If you're having trouble with it and you're trying to melee it like I did. Um, first and foremost, if he gets you trapped in a circle, like he's looped all the way around you, and he's gonna come up and he's gonna hit you, it's worth just flying through his body. Because you're gonna take less damage than when his head comes up and nails you. It's easy to tell when he's about to come up because his body, it'll slow down and then it'll speed up. And that means he's coming back up and you got a few, you got a few more seconds to do some damage. But you better get ready to move your ass because he is going to nail you hard. Other than that, just avoid his head at all costs. So whatever you do, don't let his head hit you. you once he slows down and speeds back up, you got to be on the move. Because if the head gets you, man, you're as good as dead. Whew! That sucked. Alright. And then to open the treasure bag, uh, we really don't get anything. Some souls of might, which um, I don't even think I'm going to use. And um, another piece for our uh, minecart. Hey guys, Ron from the future here. So originally, I was actually going to combine that video plus Skeletron Prime plus Plantera, and then I died like 48 times. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> so I decided to uh, split it up. So uh, and I, I didn't do a sign off. So that's basically what I'm doing now. And um, yeah, the next episode is uh, Skeletron Prime Pantera. And uh, that's it for this episode. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, see you guys.